page on here. The evening of uh, Wednesday, the 3rd of August 2016. It's quite cold tonight. Uh, I've just come back from the shops. And I'm just going to ring uh, Roger Hidewa, my uh, cousin in Whakangiangi, Te Aroa. Hopefully he's home. And see if I can strike up a conversation with him. Hello, is that you, Roger? Yeah. Roger, it's John Wano here, Honey, in Auckland. How are you? I'm alright, still surviving. <laughs> Long time. Um, Roger, I've been talking to uh, Leslie and um, um, Richard Fisher on the Hellinga blocks because the Hellinga A12 has come up for a, uh, a release and I'm going to go on the block um, and start my little projects off after all these years um, on the one next to them just before the end of the road there. So I'm going to work with them on uh, uh, development there um, and um, put a proposal for that uh, erosion part on the front of the uh, hitting 11 block uh, to use the soil for um, uh, concrete, cement, earth for building and um, uh, I want to do aqua farms there um, at some stage, but uh, he said to give you a call because you're on the trustee over there eh? on the 11 block. Yeah, a yeah. eh? chairman, yeah, that's right. Um, I'm having a hui at um, Te Horo Marae on the 27th of this month. Uh, some of the issues I want to talk about with you and whoever turns up at the Marae for the landowners meeting of the hitting up A12 block and the A10 block and um, uh, Richard <coughs> with that block um, the, uh, the A11 block as well one of those is up for release as well on the um, uh, 1st of um, April next year I think it might be the A uh, 11 block is, um, I think that's one that's up for release, or the 18, one of them. Um, yeah, A11, that's why I wanted, 
to work with them and keep them there uh, to manage some of the project with me um, because I'm doing a lot of work up at Ngāpui, up, up in the Waitangi Marae area and the seabed and all that sort of uh, uh, stuff I've been doing for a long time and I wanted to work in with uh, uh, your family there in the, in the Beachy and, and our family to try and make something work a little bit of distance from my brothers. <laughs> uh, so I hope I'm safe over there from uh, him coming and spoiling my, my, my little project. Um, uh, although he's wanting to go on to the A, A uh, Arataha block in Tiki Tiki, because I went to that meeting in Gisborne to Tumutumu Bairoa, and uh, but I wasn't too much interested in those blocks, only the ones at um, Hiringa. So um, I'm hoping that uh, I've got these advertised on the Ngāti Pro Radio and Radio Wati up in Auckland here with Kingi Taurua, who's uh, the chief up at Waitangi I've been working for years with and having problems with their lands. I've been sorting their lands out and the Auckland lands. So I'll be useful uh, with information to do something more positive with the Crown uh, in the face of what they're going to do with uh, drilling and everything out there. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm wanting to get the, the, the feeling from the people at the Marae. Uh, so you just come out of hospital in Gisborne? Oh, okay, because uh, Denise told me you were up, up there. Uh, but I had to watch myself a little bit for my heart as well. <laughs> eh? Yeah, no, I've, I've been getting used to it. I got my little um, Fitbit on my wrist and, and it tells me uh, at least something. Uh, but, eh? Yeah, that's only a pulse, but um, uh, uh, at the same time I keep my my, my health uh, as, as much as I can because I've been doing a lot of this uh, marriage stuff on the marais and all that sort of thing up north and more or less I'm in the forefront of what they're doing there straight to Westminster from that little village, the, the Port Awanui um, village straight to, straight to Waitangi. Marae. I'm behind of all those um, political issues up there. There's a lot, lot of, to take on and um, make it make it work for the hapu because they haven't been getting much further ahead with their treaty claims and the same with Nazi Pro with their treaty claims and all that. But I'm trying to um, get with something else going um, and that's all, all it's going to take is, is some feeling from the hui. But I was supposed to take um, the lease on on A12 on the 1st of October, but that's subject to the Maryland court after Te Tumutumu signed me up um, because no one came to that meeting. Only me and, and my nephew turned up at the A, uh, hitting a A12 meeting. And so they went ahead with it. Uh, but I still want to have a meeting on the Marae. I've always got my things on Marae's all the time uh, since I haven't been back home there. But these projects have been sitting around waiting waiting to clear to go on to the land and do something with it. Uh, no. No, he wasn't there. No, Nobody turned up. But, uh, but I want to have a chance to talk to them at that um, Te Horo Marae, um, up at Port Awanui there, on the 27th of this month on a Saturday, um, all day. I got the morning part of, of the hui just for locals and after lunch um, from 1 o'clock the heading A12 and then the heading A10 and then Richard on the uh, A11 after that just to outline what I wanted, proposals I want to do there and get their feelings on it. 
rather than me just come and day and do what I want. Uh, I prefer to, to do it this way. Because I needed Richard anyway to run, manage the farm because I got a lot of work to do in Westminster. Eh? Hey? Uh, 10 o'clock. Well, you can get there early. 9.30. I'll get there to get the crate prepared for lunch and uh, uh, and go to 4 o'clock um, for the rest of the afternoon. But I wanted to have a meeting um, with, with as many as I can. It'll be on Nati Pro Radio coming over from now to today right up to the Hui and also Radio Wate beaming around the place uh, with Kingi Taurua um, on the radio today and me. Um, so they've got that rattled off because I'm working in with Kingi at Waitangi Marae um, uh, and all their, their happenings on their land up there. Uh, I'll just link, the, link it through, um, through to uh, Port Waikara, Port Awanui, um, in, here on the Marae, all my things on the Marae. So what do you think? You gonna come? I'll come and see you first though, I'll come and see you before the hui, because I'm gonna come down there two or three days earlier, and I can come and outline and sit down with you. And just show you what's what's uh, everything, all the documents and everything in the maps and everything are online on my Facebook. You on Facebook? You you one of those folks? No. <laughs> That's how I get my friends, friends, friends all, all around to 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 keep in touch. And that's where that's where you know, uh, I I managed to get a big crowd uh, all over the world. That, that, that all, all over the world watching what I'm doing uh, in the face of John Key and bringing Obama and those nuclear ships here in November. That's the big threat. That and the martial law. I'm heading off with our flag in Kingi Toto and the Muslim Waitangi. Uh, I've got access into the Marae any time I want it on the treaty grounds. Straight to Westminster. I'm going to go to Westminster and and put us um, back where we should be on our land and have some measure of control at least to do something um, yeah, um, so that's the, the main theme that uh, people watching here um, and over there at uh, Rotoria as well um, I think it's getting around quite a bit now of what I'm wanting proposing to do for a long long time <coughs> um, so that's that's all I rang up for, Roger. Just to let you know, I'll come and see you, and, uh, and before then, before the hui, just to sit down and have a talk and check. How is he? A check, all right? Okay. Okay. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's hanging out. He's waiting for this for a long, long time. <laughs> We've been on this. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. And um, um, so my brother was mischief with uh, with uh, Dick Carlson. I went to Fakatana High School with that guy. Dick. Yeah. Yeah. With Jimmy. Yeah. 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 So. So Dick is on those Arataha blocks, but his lease is up. And Willie wanted to uh, go in with the bees and, and things. He says, well, how do you know the bees are going to survive? <laughs> so they had a bee fight. <laughs> oh, hey. Yeah. Yeah, so... Uh, but Dick uh, is at, at Port Awanui, and, uh, but he's supposed to get the marae for me, but I ended up having to get it myself um, um, because I was waiting for him to go and get the marae for me. But um, um, 
what the iri iri painga says we have the marae for the hui. So that's I'm getting on with him all right. So, but just getting back there and settle on the land, I want to go there to stay there and and do something. Um, that's the main main thing is the the steel houses I've been building steel houses before and 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 concrete uh, earth concrete uh, enzymes to use the the, the ro eroded part to help. I've got all, all the plans from the council from that um, guy that was at the Hui at Arataha, uh, Kerry Hudson, um, on the erosion part of the land blocks to try and uh, use the material and cut the cut the thing and build it up so that it don't go into the sea or... I don't know because I haven't gone on the block because Te Tumu Tumu told me don't go on there until like, uh, the lease is finished. But Richard said, no, you go and have a look. I said, no, I'm not going on because Tumu Tumu told me not to go and take some photos and um, see see what what to take to the meeting. Uh, I wanted to take some photos with my drone um, of the whole area um, where it's uh, mostly eroded. But that place, uh, Roger, where it's on the 8th, 11 block on the beach there, where that big cutout in the hill is. I'm interested in that to uh, go into the heavy machinery and um, um, extract some to um, use for concrete. I, I don't know, I'm just saying that before I even go there to have a good look. Uh, if it's suitable, I think it's the grey wacky stuff that's suitable for concrete and that'll do a lot of housing that I want to do on the block on the 812 block at least, and to make slabs, to make uh, concrete steel slabs for aquifarms. That's the ideal material we can use from that resource. Um, so that's part of the reason why I want to have the hui, so that we've got some Richard, my boy, wants to go back and he's interested in machinery and all that sort of thing, not me. I just set it up for them and employment in the area, but mainly housing. That's what Richard was interested in, what I'm saying. Uh, that um, uh, he's got no problem with that. And to let me go through the block into the A12 from the other roads that are there to get up, because I want to build something up, um, workshops and everything, up the top of the hill to start doing something there. Okay? Okay, so I'll, I'll come back. But... Um, if somebody in the family is there, they can take the photos of what I've put on Facebook. Everything is on there and, and the YouTube of explaining things to make it quicker for people to pick up. They'll take it from the radio station and um, Nati Pro, uh, so they've got all that there, just the outline and picture form, what, what is good for the land and the hapu, especially for the community there. I'm going there to help the community to make use of um, those resources. And, yeah, yeah. Okay, Roger? I'll catch you when I come down. Okay. Okay, Roger. Yeah, okay. Bye. There we go. Roger just said thanks for ringing. There you go. That's Roger, my cousin. He's the chairman of the Heringa blocks with the Pepere family, the Hairawa family, and the Pichi family, and the Wano family. Uh, so that just makes me feel better that Roger, being the most respected person uh, on the coast, um, has just come out of hospital, but it seems to be quite cheerful that I'm finally doing something on a piece of land and while he can see what's going on from Richard and Blaisley, I get on with them too. They're in our family. Peaches, um, Blaisley, Peachy, and my dad's brother, Ted, and Doris Peachy. Ticky ticky. Okay, so makes sense to talk to each other and put the ideas and
brains together for everybody. So thank you Roger. If anybody's watching this to let them know that I appreciate it very much. After all these years and Shikaraka, my old co matua that supported me with the echo farms on the C12 block, Marangaro C12 block at the um, lighthouse, East Cape, Marangaro blocks, that we will one day get that going. But at the moment, the priority is on Port Awanui, <coughs> little British settlement village that has no churches, but just wailing and sealing and a pub, but no beer at the moment, because there's no pub there. We're going to have to build one and put it back up again and make it work for hard-working people in the sea. Okay, Roger? Uh, so I'm going to meet Roger and go down earlier, I'll go down on the 24th or 25th and head straight to see him in Whakangini Road on the corner of Te Araro Road opposite where we live up the road next to Hiro Krakas or Neke Nehe Kraka and um, Chik Kraka in the paddock Officer Roger. So Roger will be happy that I will have man and machine in there and the Fano running the show. Not me. I said tell him do this, drive this, drive this, and drive. Go drive. Go dive, go drive. See? That's what I'm supposed to do. Tell him how to dive and then put the things on and go and do it myself but only for a little while um, because my nurse came around today caught me right in making a video when I was talking to Kingi Taurua or getting ready to talk to him but I finished talking to the radio station to Lady, thank you Lady uh, for giving those to those agenda and information to Kingi of our project at Te Horo Marae Hui. It's very important this Hui, Kingi, and his Napui chiefs. This is very important piece of land. 45 hectares, just enough to kick off the whole lot of it. Every piece of land is still the same piece of land here of the native and the people who are using it. Some are using it more than others. So now it's our turn. Kingi and all those people in Ngāpui, it is our turn with this flag. That's why I'm flying it for you on your behalf until you take over the flag and the ship. And I'll just sit there and make something really work. That's quite impossible at this stage. Pushing the boundaries of technology and science to make our life better than what it has been in the last 182 years that the flag been flying. And we haven't used it yet. Somebody else is using it. We want to find out who is using it. So Roger, <coughs> Uh, although you're not a Facebook geek like me, I hope someone shows you some of those pictures that I've put on Facebook today, yesterday, and on YouTube, these videos about what I'm going to do with the people who follows us and thinks it's a good idea. That's all it is, Roger. It's a good idea to do what we want to do with a piece of land. Everybody's going to have a go at it in their own ways. But for a start, getting on the land is the biggest issue because I've never ever been on a piece of land to do something with it until now. At the eighth hour, 
John Key's about to steal it all from the Hapu into his iwi, Maori. Trusts. We have our own trusts as well in the Hapu under this flag, and we are stamping our authority hard down on anybody who breaks these laws of the new Britain, UK government. We are in there now as the third country, Aotea, New Zealand, and Pacific Islands as one title, one title in the native Tahitian and Hawaiian and all the other islands together under this flag. So people, in the indigenous world, this flag for you. Please join online on our website moaipowerhouse.com a free £25 share in this commercial contract flag. And join on the front page of that website. From there we have Moira <coughs> Hoffman Russell from Russell North, one of the early first settlers, the Russell family. She's working with us. Miss Kingi, Toto, Chief, Waitangi Marae and Russell, Kiri Kiri. That era is on Port Awanui, little English village. Port Awanui Township is going to come back to life as far as we're concerned. And the people will say so if they think this is a good idea because I really think it is. It's got everything planned for it. It's leaped ahead of the Marangaro C12 block at the lighthouse. It has leapfrogged ahead of Rangitoki, Haho 7B block because there's some issues with certain people there that want it for themselves, but that can change. We'll give them a bit of time to look at the bigger picture of use it or lose it. That's how the colonial people think. The John Key people think. The elite people think like that. If you don't use it, you lose it. So in our case, we're going to use every bit of it. In every piece of land in this country that's not yet used. There are people on the other spaces of land on this country and we will account for them all under this flag, straight to the New Britain. The John Key's on that side, and the King's on this side. The Queen's on that side with John Key and Australia New South Wales government. Debtors, levy debtors. We're on this side, the King and the Hapu, the Queen and the Iwi Māori over there, with John Key in their corporate crown business. We are over here, mortgage free, debt, mortgage free, mortgage up to the hills over there, mortgage free, King William IV, and the native Hapu chiefs, Kingi and his Hapui chiefs flag of contract. This is their flag of contract. It is nobody else's flag because that's what I'm saying. I'm there to represent them as their customary legal advocate. I'll have my barrister on Friday. I'm going to meet him and we're going to go through this with the Bar Association. I'm not going to go against them because they've had the reins all this long. The transition is going to be time consuming to shift over from the Queen's to the King's side. We have our king, like I said, King Ernest Augustus V in England, living right there. And his son, Prince Ernest Augustus, Prince Regent, living in Hanover, between there and France, in England. 
Okay, so that's our legacy title, Inheritance, with this flag and King William the Fourth Man's Law and Maui Statute, Rate, Rapunui, Hokonui, New Zealand, as the other law, L O R E, spirit of God, grace, earth. Jurisdiction. Truth prevails with that title standing in London and here in Auckland, Mesia and Dunedin with the head on the head, the crown. That's our native title to this country standing right there with Desmond, my nephew, and he's from Dunedin with that Maui statue as the gatekeeper spiritual side of this country. The Pākehās were very clever to bring that from East Island and put it down there with their Pākehā people. Nothing against Pākehās, I'm just saying they methodically put it there because Queen Victoria took the first Māori off East Island and put it in London and hid it for over 100 years then pulled it out and put it into the museum as their prized possession under this Admiralty flag of King William. His niece, Queen Victoria, is Kingi Taurua's title of the trust that she put together in 1848. The Queen Victoria Trust is Kingi's title under this flag to King Edward and Queen Victoria, side of the bloodlines. Okay, so Kingi is the king of that trust, Queen Victoria's trust, but I'm here for King Ernest Augustus, the fifth inheritance of the bank, and the acts of the Bank of England in this flag of King William IV, and the bank note, pound note, acts of Westminster Parliament, 1830 to 1837, that's my business, as surrogate king of that flag and those jurisdictions of Admiralty, mortgage, liens and doctrines of title to any piece of land, private possessions comes out of this flag. So that's the difference between me as a surrogate king until we install King Ernest Augustus into Westminster Parliament, that's my job, as a native, the partner to King William, the flag, not Queen Victoria, to King William, not to Queen Elizabeth, to King William. That's my title, business, private, private contract, business. Kingy contractor to this flag, to England. Westminster, government, parliament, and military, navy. That's Kingy's rightful king line position. Meantime, I'm standing in for the king until he's chosen through nomination from us, the natives, and those people who join us under this king's flag. Straight to British Government UK as partners. First and second partners, John Key and the Queen, third party. Third party debtors. Us, second party, first party, British government, Westminster and Navy. Okay, that's a protectorate of this flag of our business. Start up right now. As of now, on that block of land, heading on A12, will be our main base for my powerhouse group, London. I have Moira Hoffman, English woman and her husband, um, Carl Hoffman, German, in this array of history to this flag, and Russell. The name Russell is her name. She is my right-hand uh, administrator for the Maui 
power scoop, total energy, water power, water money, gold money, power node, chairs. Okay? And the broad chairs. So she's taking care of those chairs for us. Trust the king. You can't go wrong. So, thank you very much, Roger. <clears throat> and the East Coast, today, we've got the two radio stations and Radio Wat here. Thank you to the um, um, Panui um, Kingi and Lady for doing that for us and Ngāpui and the radio station to put this Panui across in the best possible way so that it's a blueprint for what I've been doing for a long, long time, struggling with every other Maori in their ideas and their own passion way to get on top of John Key and his government over our lands. These are still our lands, all of it, the whole lot. The people on it are occupying with a piece of paper title instrument of some sort of levy debt instrument. We have a pound note levy credit note to write on against levy debtors over there. From this paddock to that paddock. Okay, so it's a simple mathematic to work that out. So I had somebody to do the accounts uh, in my family and uh, um, that will happen very quickly once we get past the barrister stage on Friday. Channel with us from Vulcan Chambers. Hope you're watching the video and take heed that we have British business to do. And I'm hoping you will come with me to Westminster and sort out recovery of all the debts on that side. On the Queen's Bench side, from the King's Bench side, inside the Auckland District Court and every other district court in the world under this flag jurisdiction. This is our property, Shannon and Kingy. This is our property, title, inheritance and law of this land. As of now, forevermore. It's up to us to change that contract with the British government in front of them. Or find new partners, or sack the trust is what we're going to do. We're going to sack the Queen as head trust of our Queen Victoria Trust, Kingy. That's your business. That's your business. I'm going to handle all the legal side of that for you in front of the whole world on this website. So we have a job that looks hard but it's quite easy and simple. The thing is, the more substance in the matter, the more matter of substance there is to talk about. No one says anything or contests what we say, King. That's the law. That's why Shannon Rivers has to make determination for the court and the judge. He's only doing his job, they're only doing their job to correct the law. With this flag at the top of it. Okay, that's an order from me and the British military, navy and government, UK. This flag supersedes all other admiralty with us now live and operating this flag's jurisdiction straight to Britain. Kingy, we're in business. We're in business. It's a commercial flag of legal status. Whatever any indigenous people or sovereign people or whatever they want to call themselves talking about legal stuff, if you're not in the game, you can't play it. Simple as that. That's the way the world is going. 
until it's gone. The New World Order is trying to take this out. We're going to settle their accounts out first, Kingy, before they get near it. It's none of their business. The business is private between us and the British government. That's it. That's it. They have wrecked this admiralty for their own financial investment interests. John Key and Jerry Matapurai Andrews. Kingy, he's in trouble with this flag right now. I can tell you that much. I'll be talking to Shannon with us on your behalf. He will be representing you and the Waitangi land blocks and the Titi land blocks. I have those titles here, Kingy. I have them here, the um, original titles. Now, no one's going to argue with those. I have the original Manukau titles here from Scotland. No one's going to argue with that. I have the original East Coast titles. No one's going to argue with that. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. This flag is very powerful when you know how to use it. And it's a bank flag at that. Well, that's all I'm going to say. It's supposed to be just for Roger, this video. It just seems to have rolled into everything else in a five pound note. Uh, so, uh, thank you uh, once again, Roger, and um, the people who are supporting us and getting this Panui out to as many people as possible on those land blocks, the heading our land blocks as possible to come to the meeting and if Roger can't make it to the meeting then he's got somebody to go and be on that land block with us to administer it because they've been there for a long time I'm there as the messenger from Britain and Waitangi to put our systems in place in the best possible manner fix up all the problems and give John Key the bill. I'm hoping to bring the British British military straight into Rangitoki here to fix that river and all the erosion and bill John Key and his Crown Corporation. 970 million trillion trillion pound note, the green one that you see on the front page of our website. That's a levy debtors instrument. Please take it as being real. It has been passed through our law in Waitangi Marae with the chief. Okay, so now we can apply the levy debtors recovery on Cook Street. The first one to get the note. That's our business. I do not want the judge to compensate anything. This is not about compensation. This is about confiscation not confiscation, confiscation and a writ to confiscate the land back and the debts owed okay by those people who got in my road that's all it is that's all it is they've ignored our flag we know John Key is using this flag for his government he's not telling anybody or disclosing anything that's what I wanted all the disclosure the judge gave me order to get full disclosure on what I want. I'm expecting the barrister is going to put it in front of me on Friday. If it's not all there, I'll demand it to end the case and seize the property with me. Shannon, I want you to seize that property with me, 77 Cook Street, off those landowners and lock them up arrest them and all the people who got in my rug. That's an order from my chief, King Toto, from the Ngāpūri. They've been watching this for a long, long time. Had all the patience in the world to make a case stick. Okay, so that's, that's all. But I'm excited to go back down the East Coast after so many years and to watch the Ngāpūri rugby team 
play their little hearts out. I want to have a backup of some sort to make their little legs go flat out. Alright, John Manuel and all you fellas there, my props, Poker Manuel and John B. Deutsch, Raro, and Morgan Horua, Boy Horua, Tutu Manuel, Casey Wano, Bill Woods, Seven, Fitu Tennessee, Molly Tennessee, these are all my rugby players. Doug Tichcorn, uh, Dallas Manuel, who else is there? Who, who else have I missed? Um, and uh, Prince Car, Prince Car, and I'll be Nutter. And uh, who's missing? Who's missing? Do you see? I'm trying to find who's missing. Who's all the fast legs in that time in the Nazi? Wild routine and Highland Pub. Highland Pub came from Port Awanui. All that history or all that memories I have of us living together, diving together, playing rugby together and working together, going to parties together, drinking a lot together against the uh, Rotoria team, Hicks Bay team, Tokoraran team and uh, um, all those other teams uh, that uh, tried to kill me. They said, "Keep that name, that hooker, that hooker in that in that scrum for whatever. Get him. He's bad. He's bad. He's tight head. Steal the ball from your fathers." Okay. So I'm just saying, uh, it'd be lovely um, to have machines and men at work in this wonderful project on Rantory Bank and so far Roger likes the idea of extracting the cement from the grey wacky in that hill for building concrete steel homes. They're wonderful homes and we're using all that material to brace up the front of the erosion and um, also on the aqua farms out in the sea for big slabs for the powers to stick to. Okay? The big project right through the Pacific. That's the first of 60 of these platforms going into the sea to make hydrogen jet fuel and rocket fuel power uh, for all our industry in the world. So we're going global with this. People with this flag is a global flag. It's not just on the land here. This is an international free passage through the world flag of commerce and gives us the right to currency, our own pound note currency, and also gives us the right to the British military to protect our business right from the start. Okay, so we're just identifying who we are and where we're going and whose land it is and who's on it and who shouldn't be on it and sort out who's getting the most out of it than others. We're going to square the books. We're going to balance the books. And I'm going to show you people online how that happens. I'm hoping my family takes an interest in what I do. I'm sure they are. Uh, after all this time, they say, oh, we believe we're going to see it. Well, you're starting to see it now. So if you start believing in what is happening, it'll be the people who will suggest so at the hoodie. Okay? They're the ones that will make the determination. I'll just give them some ideas. They'll have the ideas too, so we'll put them all together in a five pound note. Thank you very much, people. It's time I stop talking for the day because I think I made about six movies today. And thanks to the iPad, the little tablet is doing a wonderful job. Uh, it's better than the Canon camera, it's, it's a bit useless, makes noise, this camera. And um, this notepad, I use it to fly the drone. Because the Indian guy down the road with the computer place made it work. He tuned it in, 
and made my drone fly by just using this iPad. That's how they play games, flying, playing games on, on things. Well, it's a real object that they're making fly instead of a console um, control. So one or the other. And I'm enjoying playing around with it, skimming along the ground, not getting off the ground because I don't want it to fly away from me. And I'll never see him again. And I'm thinking twice about fishing because he might drop in the water. That's what my boy did, Richard. Oh, it's not wise to go out to sea with it. I said, oh, I just want to play around on the land first and see if it works. So that's what I'm going to um, get used to, drones, and that's one of our uh, projects uh, that we'll have research station on that heading A12 block. It'll be a research station for and res and um, surveillance with drones. We'll be investing heavily in big drones to go right out at least 100 miles out or even up to 500 miles out to check who's fishing out there and it will identify with the camera and we'll have enough equipment to get out there fast to arrest anybody with the sheriff's badge sheriff's badge right there on the head that's all you need and the authority and this flag you're in business this flag king pound note you're, you're in yeah, British military that's all you need okay and uh, High Court of Admiralty judge one to come here from Britain and look after that side of the things of the law straight to the new Britain okay come here and take care of all our acts for us and straight to this government now okay Thank you very much. We'll see you later. Bye for now. John Warren, Auckland. Odin.